So, tell me your name. Uh, Nathan Duda. And uh, Nathan, what do you do for a living? Uh, we have a, uh, a landscape company. So we uh, design and just work with a good group of customers that we've had for 47 years. So we've been, uh, and it's my father's company first, and then we've been doing that for years. <laughs> Try to be nice. Uh, I got a I got a lovely wife at home that's just ready, ready for uh, me to look like I used to. Mm. My powers. Uh. There she goes. Holy cow. <laughs> yeah, I feel weaker at this point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nathan. Welcome to the shop, man. All right. What do you want to do? Well, uh, haircut. Haircut. We're gonna, um, I guess, short, short on the sides. You know, um, enough to where I can comb it back in the on the top. Cool. And then um, beard. Just take it, take it down all the way. Not all the way, but I mean, short. Give it, give it some shape. As far as like the length uh, from the chin down, what's uh, where, where are you trying to go? Man, I've had it all linked, so I'm thinking actually short this time. You know, just, just like, about like that much right there? Like, yeah? yeah. Cool. Yeah. Get rid of some of the gray. Yeah, man. Let's do it. And then uh, on the sides, when you say short, do you want to do like a skin fade? Do you want to do like a, a light fade? Do you want to do something a little longer? Um, just enough to where it... Uh, <laughs> I've had Stumped. A long, I've had a long time to think about this, but I chose not to. Batteries right there, something, man. Do do do. It should be the hottest day in summertime today. Chop it off, man. Yeah. So yeah, even if all this link, all this time to grow, I just never had a plan for the yeah, yeah. the end. Um, I. Uh, yeah, I've had it short most of my life, so I guess short again, cool. you know, but um, enough to where it's not just sticking out like a chia pet or yeah, something, yeah. you I know, got you. but um, yeah, I think, I think we should do something, if, if, if not like a skin fade, we should do something like a life fade with like maybe like a one on the sides or even a half okay. to give you like some nice grading into the top so you have like some shape for the hair going, going back. That'll work. So. That'll work. Cool. And how, how long has it been without a, without a cut? Man, I, I really don't remember. I'm thinking at least two years, three yeah. years, maybe. Um, it just kind of kept growing. And, uh, <laughs> it got me a lot of backstage access. You know? Are you with the band? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> just, um, people always look at me like, man, I think I know that guy from somewhere, but uh, they don't. They don't. <laughs> but uh, I have posed for a lot of pictures. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. <laughs> mm. Mm. My powers. Uh. There she goes. Holy cow. <laughs> mm. wow. Well, that's something. That's something. <laughs> yeah, I feel weaker at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna cut the top first, work our way down, and get into the uh, the beard trim. Okay. What do you do for work, Nathan? Uh, we have a landscape company, so um, we do a lot of real nice, mostly design, like design and you know installation. But nice. um, it, it's we've got a good company. We've been doing it a long time. Residential, uh, commercial? Uh, mostly residential. Okay. Mostly residential, and uh, just real loyal customers. And, and uh, um, I don't know. 
Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. yeah. I was uh, talking with my last guy. We did the video with one of my homies. Mm -hmm. We're like lawn nuts, man. How long you been doing that? Um, my whole life. Yeah, my uh, my dad actually started the company when I was um, in before I was born. So I mean, I've just been doing it since birth. You know, just working, <laughs> <laughs> always working. And uh, but. what's the name of the company? It's a uh, Duda Duda Landscape Systems. Nice. We're in Crosby. It's our last name. And. Uh, yeah, he, he just passed this year, so um, it's been a, it's, it's been hard. I'm starting to hear, man. Yeah. Yeah. Making your dad proud with uh, carrying on the legacy, man, with uh, the business. Yeah, I hope so. We're gonna take off the uh, all this bulk here on the sides and some clipper over comb action. I'm doing this since your hair was longer. Mm -hmm. It's been so set in like to go a certain way. Kind of just chipping away to see what the hair does at a certain length. Yeah, I mean, definitely the long hair is, uh, you know, it definitely starts out looking better in the morning than it did when you come home at night, you know, because uh, it's just, it's a, it was a lot. And uh, like I said, it was, but, uh, but we go out a lot, we go to, go to a lot of concerts, go, you know, so it, it, was a, it was a fun look for a while. And uh, like I said, everybody always thought I was somebody, but. <laughs> Just bring a picture and hold it right beside you. Hold it for the soccer tonight. Hopefully the same is over. What's up? You're doing the soccer? The footballs? Tonight and tomorrow? Nah, man. I'm going out of town tomorrow, and I don't have all the kind of money that they charge for this game, man. That was the last concert you saw. It's expensive, man. We go to a lot of Willie Nelson concerts. So we got to. We went. Well, the last one would have been Memorial Day weekend. We were at the Whitewater Amphitheater. So. That was a good one. Um, the one before that would have been uh, here in Austin out at his ranch. He had his, his birthday party. He had a, a good concert there. That was, that was a lot of fun. And then um, we had gone the night before to see George Strait and Willie for, um, at the Moody. Oh, you were there at the, at the yeah. Moody? Yeah. yeah. How was that? It was awesome, man. That's a, that's a nice building. It's, uh, and, uh, and to get to see George Strait and Willie at the same night, that's a pretty sweet deal. You can tell. Uh, that was technically the, like, the Yo, official the opening, right? I believe so. I think they had played a couple shows before, but I think that was the kickoff for the, for the stadium. Or, um, no, they don't like the owner.
Here I'm just refining the edge, point cutting, making sure it lays nice and uh, nice and layered. Oh yeah, these are kind of like your your classic barbershop, like or barber like haircuts, like your slick backs. These are pretty cool. Are you liking the the length on the sides? Oh, yeah, I like it. It's great. So be enough to like lay. Lay down, so like it goes well with the with the brush bag, but I I do want to taper out the neckline mm -hmm. for it to be a little bit more cleaner. I think right. that's what we, I think that's yeah, what I'll do. Instead of having uh, going in there with the with the half, making a little bit more shorter, having a uh, a little more length to uh, to kind of like balance the top, I think it'll be a better choice. Right. Yeah, and then we'll taper a little bit of the the sideburn going into into the beard as well. Okay. Cool. Yeah, for no plan, we're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> I can dress up again. You know, you kind of when you have a big beard and long hair, you kind of get stuck in a look. You know, so uh, wearing a suit didn't fit. <laughs> it didn't look right. <laughs> so, not not that I wear a suit that often. But. Hey, there's a lot long hair has made a comeback i mean there's a lot of people with long hair right now so post uh, post pandemic yeah for sure and so you know the mullets have come back the you know, it's, it's kind of gone crazy but i guess i'm trying to stay ahead of the curve you know mm -hmm. right What am I thinking? <laughs> Man, I, I was ready to cut it. It was a long, it was a long time having that long hair. So, um, You say you were from Houston, right? No, from uh, um, the Conroe, oh, Crosby. No, Crosby, Crosby, yeah. Crosby, yeah. So, um, now we're kind of on the the working side of town in Houston. We're kind of we're still thirty like thirty minutes from downtown, so we're right there. But we're that's where that uh, famous uh, crawfish shack is at, right? But, yep, that's that's right. Yeah, that's right. We're friends with uh, the owners. Yeah, I tell you, he's made a good business. Good business. He's good for the community. He's a great guy. The whole, the whole family. And in Austin, how long have you been here? Say that again. How long have you been in here in uh, in Austin? Uh, I just came in last night. I've got um, <clears throat> uh, a friend that lives here. He's a fire, fire uh, fireman. And uh, I always stay with them. My brother-in-law. He's actually my brother-in-law's brother. But uh, we uh, we have a lot of fun. I'm just blending the uh, the taper into the uh, into the the mid length here. I 
is this going to grow out for him? This is good. I would say pretty, uh, I mean, I'm giving them like a solid, selling, uh, like a pretty solid foundation for it to like grow back in pretty, pretty nicely. Like you won't, he probably won't need to come back for like, it won't be like necessarily like a favor. And he's like, oh, he has to be back in, a, in two weeks to get like, you know, freshened up again. If he wants to like let it grow out for a little bit longer, it'll like, especially with the taper in the back, it'll suit him nicely for like another month uh, or two. Combination of that gentleman over there, he came in here with Willie Braves. <laughs> 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 well, this is an interesting yeah, This is just framing your face, usually with the. Uh, when they cut the, the hair, like the, the banks will be all uneven. This is just me framing framing your face. So like if you the hair were to like go down, it wouldn't be all uneven. It would actually look nice. Mm -hmm. Swimming will be more enjoyable. <laughs> no more model shots where you're just like going like this yeah. with, uh, with your yeah. hair? <laughs> the other day we were at a graduation party and they had a big shop fan in there and I was trying to get over to talk to somebody but I didn't want that Fabio moment walking in front of the fan. <laughs> I was trying to stay back. <laughs> Long hair helped hide some of my weak spots in the beard. <laughs> it's been better. It, uh, I've kind of made some mistakes in some of my trimming. I think you got to be careful when you cut the, you know, the bottom tends to grow faster. And then when you go to just kind of cut it, and then it takes, I guess it hollows it out, or I don't know what it does. But it, I mean, it doesn't need to be that long on the sides. I just end up just letting it go. You're thinking about like right there or shorter? I guess we better start there. Cool. We could probably go a little shorter though. Oh, look, it floats. <laughs> <laughs> there goes my, my Chris Stapleton look. Yeah. <laughs> oh, have me looking too respectable. <laughs> I'm doing more of a freehand approach to his beard, given the uh, the texture of his beard. I don't want to go in there with a guard and like knock out or dig in too uh, too much. Rather, just give it more of like a freehand uh, shape, like trimming a hedge.
landscaping. Some landscaping. Yeah. <laughs> different. Thinking I should have went and collected all my debts. Only <laughs> got a little less intimidating at this point. <laughs> What are you thinking for the uh, the stash? Are you trying to keep it like no, I, on the I, lid? Like um, definitely shorter. You know, I mean, it's, it's like I said, I, I had just quit trimming and doing all that because I knew I was coming. So, yeah. Um, we can we can thin it out or trim cool. it too. Let's do it. Um, and um, I don't want it as short as like stubble. I mean, I definitely yeah, yeah. want it to have some some length, some yeah, length yeah. to where it, because uh, it's man, a mustache is the suckiest thing to have to grow. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's all, you know you got to be patient with it. I'm not gonna cut too much off. I'm still gonna mm -hmm. leave obviously that length for if you want to do this, mm -hmm. kind of get it out the way you can. But it's not gonna be like like short. So okay. Yeah. And to sit it's a little bit lighter and not as dense. I don't want to right. necessarily chop off all that length either, you know? Right. Go a little shorter? Yeah. Cool. How is that angle right here to get the undercarriage of the beard. Shirt on. 
Dude, that's as fo that's as phony as those uh, bracelets that baseball players used to wear back in the day. The copper ones. Well, now that I got rid of that undercarriage underneath, mm -hmm. as far as the length, do you still want to take it down a little shorter? Or is that? Yeah, I think we can. I mean, it's okay. I mean, it looks good. We can, keep, we can go a little shorter. Though. A little shorter. Yeah, still freehanding. Again, with the uh, his beard texture, I don't want to go in there and like. It's more of like the uh, like edging around. Have you ever used the sea salt spray before? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I would put it in uh, when it's a little damp, like right after the shower, um, and blow dry it, blow dry it back, set it in. Or you could just leave it to air dry as well, if you like. Yeah. I should have. I, I, a lot of times I didn't. I mean, I just would, uh, you know, air dry, I guess towel dry, and then, you know, just throw a hat on. And just, it was a lot of hair. Yeah. That was a lot of hair. <laughs> um, uh, I tell you, there's a lot of things when you, man, when you, go your whole life without long hair and you grow long hair it's, it's a change i mean just sleeping sleeping's different you know you end up laying on top of that hair and, and um and just uh 
washing up. You can fill a brush up with hair fast too. I was thinking I was losing my hair because it was just the hair was so damn long. <laughs> it went on. Go through again and just soften up some some mm -hmm. of the uh, some of the ends here. Just take some of that weight out. Yeah, it's gonna refine the edges, not be as like as blunt per se. Even though I I point cut it. I think we did good for not being prepared. I could never, <laughs> I could never gear myself to look at pictures of dudes on the internet for, for hair ideas. So I was just like, ah, y'll leave that to the professionals. Especially with your hair texture, man, I can see what you're talking about, about like if you were to take it too short on the sides, or like it, it would just like either leave it long enough to where like it lays down. Mm -hmm. So I would have, you know, always had like, I mean, for years I used like a triple zero. I mean, you know, I just kept it skin on the side and then, um, and I would just get a haircut a lot. And then, you know, as I got older, I would leave it a little longer. Because, I mean, it would just poke right out, you know, like a caterpillar. You know. Uh, I couldn't find it. This is uh, this is actually the temple smoke. Yeah. Temple smoke. Finishing off here with a little bit of the uh, styling balm. That old money. Yeah, that's all. I, mean, I would definitely emulsify it in your hands. Try to work it through the root, mm -hmm. and then leave most of it uh, a work back towards the front. You don't want to like goop the the front and not have anything for the back. So like apply it pretty liberal uh, liberal throughout the uh, throughout the hair. Kind of massage it in.
And then I would recommend getting like a comb that has a, like a little bit wider spacing. I'm using a, just a vent brush. Just to, uh, so it's not like pulling and tugging on, on your hair.